15 Things You Didn't Know About Croatia Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, we hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to another amazing video presented by Alux.com. Today we're exploring one of Europe's great countries, Croatia. Be warned though, because this video may just make you fall in love with this nation on the sea. Long before Croatia became one of the best holiday destinations to explore any time of the year, people began inhabiting the area in the early 7th century. Throughout the First and Second World War, Croatia survived as part of the state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs. After World War II ended, the country became the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, as well as the founding member of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Today, years after the country fought for its independence, Croatia is a republic ruled by a parliament. The country has a developing economy, identified by the World Bank as a high-income economy, with much of its revenues coming from agriculture, food processing, pharmaceuticals, biochemical and timber industries. Tourism is also an important part of Croatia's economy, with the industry dominating their service sector. With such great history and beautiful landscape, it's no wonder that HBO chose this country as a shooting location for Game of Thrones. Plus, you can also explore the country's 1,000 islands and their many UNESCO World Heritage Sites. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Despite having a great culture, amazing food, and kind people, Croatia doesn't get the attention it deserves. So let's fix that, shall we? Here are 15 things you didn't know about Croatia. Number 1. Croatia has two men on the moon. Well, not literally. Two Croats have their names on the map of the moon, which is a great thing for a country this small. Scientists Roger Boscovich and Andrea Mohorovicic have had portions of the moon named after them. Boscovich, a physicist, astronomer, mathematician, philosopher, diplomat, poet, and theologian who lived in Italy for most of his life, created a precursor of atomic theory and had important contributions in astronomy. The scientist also discovered the absence of atmosphere on the moon. While Mahorovicic, a meteorologist and seismologist, is an important founder of modern seismology. Both scientists have a mountain in the near side of the moon, as well as a lunar impact crater located on the far side of the moon named after them. Number 2. We have to thank Croatia for many items we use every day, including the necktie. We should all just take a moment to thank this country for making us look so good all dressed up. The necktie, maybe the country's most successful export, is one of their most famous inventions. The story of neckties dates back to the 17th century, when Croatia's people fought for the French in the Thirty Years' War. Apart from bringing men to the battlefield, Croatia also set a trend. The mercenaries used to wear distinctively knotted neckwear so they could tell each other apart, and from there it spread to other militaries and later catching on in civilian society and eventually setting a trend. In time, the knot made its way through modern-day offices and other high-class places to become known as the necktie. And here's a fun fact. Croatia is the Guinness World Record holder of the longest necktie, measuring 808 meters, or 2,650 feet if you're watching in America. Other things this country has invented is the world's first torpedo, the Maglite flashlight, and the mechanical pencil. Number 3. Croatia has served as the set design of many famous films and TV shows, including Game of Thrones. When you venture into this world of amazing landscapes and incredible culture, expect to take a ton of pictures, particularly in the city of Dubrovnik, a medieval town located on the Adriatic Sea in the region of Dalmatia, which is one of the most sought-after destinations in the world. The city's old buildings are amazing, especially considering they have the oldest arboreum in the world. As we already mentioned, HBO's Game of Thrones shot a few of its famous scenes in Croatia, but also movies like Star Wars The Last Jedi and Mamma Mia were filmed in the country. Next year, you'll get to see the 2018 adaptation of Robin Hood, which is also being filmed in Croatia, and there are plans to film the next James Bond film there as well. Number 4. Croatia is one of the safest countries in the world. 
Croatia is one of the few remaining countries in which you can enjoy an evening walk and feel completely safe, but you don't need to take our word for it. The 2017 Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report evaluated 136 countries worldwide on overall safety and ranked Croatia as one of the most secure countries for tourists to visit. The report ranked the country at 24th place on the list, with Finland taking the top spot as the safest country in the world for tourists. Russia ranked 109th, the US ranked 84th, the United Kingdom 78th and Germany was in 51st place. The report evaluates the countries on their individual policies and the threat of major security risks, such as terrorism and violence. Number 5. The most expensive street in Croatia is Stradun Dubrovnik. Unlike other countries in Croatia, you don't need to be a billionaire to afford living there because the cost of living in this beautiful country isn't that high. While in New York these days, you can pick up a two-bedroom apartment in a decent area for around $1 to $1.5 million. In Croatia, for the same amount of money, you could easily buy yourself an entire 19th century castle with land included. Croatia's most expensive street is not even in the capital of the city, but located in the popular coastal city of Dubrovnik. The main street in the city is a limestone paved pedestrian street that goes for about 300 meters into the old town. This is the main tourist attraction, so as you'd expect, the prices are higher than the average to say the least. Number 6. Croatia is the home of one of the smallest towns in the world. Generally, small towns in America have more than 30,000 inhabitants. This town in Croatia has around 30 people, which formally makes it one of the smallest towns in the world if you don't take into account towns who are labeled with a population of one. Located right in the center of the Istria region near the town of Buzet and known as the town of Truffles, Hum is only 100 meters long and 30 meters wide. But don't get fooled by its dimensions, because this town has a lot of history. According to a legend, this magnificent place was created by giants who built the cities in the valley of the Myrna River. What makes Hum truly unique is the fact that despite being built in the 16th century, nothing was built outside the walls since. Everything from the church to the watchtower are perfectly preserved. Number 7. Croatia is ranked as the 18th most popular tourist destination in the world. The country doesn't hold this title in vain. Out of 1 million tourists per year, about 15% of them come for the landscapes and for immersing themselves in nature, a sector that's flourishing in Croatia. Tourism represents about 18% of the country's GDP, with the annual tourist industry income for 2016 estimated at $8.8 .8 billion. With many tourists concentrating along the Adriatic Sea coast, Croatia opened its first holiday resort, Opatia, in the middle of the 19th century. In the 1890s, the resort became one of the most important health resorts in Europe. Although the number of resorts shot up along the coastal region, Croatia became the first European country to develop commercial naturist resorts. If you had doubts about visiting the country, hopefully all of this is convincing you to pack your bags and head out for a holiday in Croatia. Number 8. Croatia holds a lot of odd Guinness World Records When researching this country, you learn pretty quickly that it has a long list of odd Guinness World Records, such as the one for longest lines of strudel, measuring 1,479.38 meters, or 4,853 feet and 7 inches. The country is the proud record holder of the fastest time to push a car one mile, the longest moonwalk, the largest painting, as well as the largest box of popcorn. Croatia also holds the record for the largest collection of panda-related items, as well as the largest appendix removed. Like we said, it's an odd list. Number 9. The famous Dalmatian comes from Croatia. The popular Dalmatian is a breed of medium-sized dogs, famous for their unique spots. Mainly used as carriage dogs in their early days, their roots can be traced back to Croatia and the historical region of Dalmatia, hence their name. The first illustrations of the dog, an altar painting dating back to the period of 1600 to 1630, have been found in Croatia, while the first mention of the Dalmatian breed in an official document is traced back to the early 18th century. Described as Canis Dalmacticus in the Church Chronicles from 1719, the dog's unique coat became popular and widely spread over the continent of Europe in the early 1920s. 
In popular culture, the Dalmatian serves as a firehouse mascot and is sometimes used to educate others about fire safety. So, now you know where all those puppies in 101 Dalmatians really came from. Number 10. Robert Hershevik, the famous Shark Tank star, was born in Croatia. The Croatian-Canadian businessman, investor, and TV personality was born in Varaždin, Croatia. Upon moving to Canada, he attended the University of Toronto, where he graduated with a double degree in political science and English. Eventually, he rose to fame after founding his company, Brack Systems, which he later sold to AT&T Canada for $30.2 million. Thanks to this successful deal, producers featured him on investing reality shows such as Dragon's Den and the ABC version of the series Shark Tank. His net worth of $250 million comes from various business ventures. If you want to find out more about this famous Croatian-Canadian businessman, click in the top right corner to check out our dedicated video. Number 11. Croatia's currency is named after an animal and their coins after a lime tree. Croatia's currency is named after an animal, even though the country has been a member of the EU since 2013. Croatia's currency, kuna, is named after the marten, a slender, agile creature adapted to living in taigas and found in the forests nearby. In medieval times, marten skins used to be a form of payment in Slavonia, the Croatian littoral, and Dalmatia. The modern-day banknotes feature famous Croatians on the front and architectural motifs on the back. The currency issued by the Croatian National Bank is subdivided into 100 lipa. A lipa means linden, or a lime tree. Number 12. Croatia has a museum of broken relationships located in Zagreb. This rather unique and odd museum is located in the capital of the country, Zagreb. Dedicated to failed relationships, this museum's exhibits are quite unusual. Displaying personal objects left over from former lovers, these unique pieces of art come with short descriptions. It all started as a traveling collection of donated items, and it soon found a home in the capital of one of the most beautiful countries in the world. In 2011, the unusual museum received the Kenneth Hudson Award for Europe's most innovative museum, so make sure you visit it while you're there. Number 13. Croatia has the most beautiful sunsets in the world. Where can you experience the most beautiful sunset in the world? You've guessed it, Croatia. According to Alfred Hitchcock, Zadar is the place to see the most beautiful sunset. While the English director found himself in Zadar in 1964, he was amazed by its setting sun and named it the most beautiful, even more beautiful than Key, Florida, where he thought the best sunset was until he visited Zadar. You can take his word for it, or you can go check it out yourself. Another interesting thing about Zadar, there, on the Dalmatian coast, you'll find the world's first pipe organ that's played by the sea's rhythmic waves. Pretty cool, huh? Number 14. Croatia produced many scientists and important people. Every country has its bright minds, but we're sure you didn't know how much these croats did for mankind. Ivan Vucetic, a criminologist and anthropologist, pioneered the method of identifying someone based on their fingerprints. Vucetic's methods are still used worldwide today. Then there's the Irishman James Joyce, one of the most influential writers in the modernist avant-garde age of the early 20th century, was an English teacher in the city of Pula who gave us Ulysses in the early 19th century. Croatia also has two Nobel Prize winners in chemistry. Do you know any other famous Croatians? We couldn't close this list without mentioning the great Nikola Tesla. Despite being born in Similian, which is today in Croatia, at the time of his birth was technically a part of the Austrian Empire, making him a citizen of Austria. We'll let you guys debate that one in the comments. Number 15. The amphitheater in Pula, Istria, is the third most preserved in the world, even better than the Colosseum. For our number 15, we thought we should talk about the most famous and imposing site of the first century, the Oval Amphitheater in Pula. The Pula Arena is the only remaining Roman amphitheater to still have four side towers and all three Roman architectural orders entirely preserved. Built around the time Jesus Christ was said to be born, the construction is one of the six largest surviving Roman arenas in the world, as well as the third most preserved. 
first built from local limestone and known locally as the Arena. The amphitheater was designed to host gladiator contests with enough space to fit 20,000 spectators. In 1932, the arena was adapted for theater productions, military ceremonies, and public meetings. Today, many famous artists like Luciano Pavarotti, Andrea Bocelli, Jose Carreras, Dino Merlin, Elton John, and many more use it as a venue for their concerts. So make sure to see if any high-end events are available while you're there to visit. Now that you've learned some more about Croatia, tell us, Aluxers, what else should we add to our list about this incredible country? Let us know in the comments. Still here? Because you stayed until the end, here's a bonus fact just for you. Croatia has one of the top beaches in Europe that changes its shape. Located in the region of Dalmatia, the beach is unlike any other place you visited because it changes shape. The farthest end usually is turned slightly toward the east, but certain weather patterns can shift the beach more toward the west, which means it actually changes shape every two to three years. This awesome beach's length and shape are technically unknown because it varies due to tide, current, and wind. But because of its unique shape, it has been featured on many travel brochures, making it one of the symbols of Croatian tourism. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.